Benson Wanjala has been a farmer for two and a half decades. When he started, his land yielded a harvest of 200 bags of maize each season. However, this yield has since dwindled to a harvest of 30 bags. I was advised to apply manure, but I wasn't keeping cows at the time. Since I was wondering why the yield had reduced, I decided to move to Nairobi and start farming vegetables. My vegetable yield also began to decrease, and I suspect it is due to the increased amount of chemicals in the soil. I have no choice but to use fertilizers, as I need to make money to support my children. The Alliance for a Green Revolution in Africa, AGRA, estimates that 63% of Kenya's arable land is acidic, leading to a decline in staple crops like maize and exports such as tea and horticulture. Priscilla Wakarera, a soil scientist, explains that many farmers double their fertilizer application if they experience low yields during a season. However, if the soil's pH is unfavorable, the existing minerals in the soil cannot be absorbed by the plants. Adding more fertilizers worsens the problem. Consequently, there is very high soil degradation due to the accumulation of fertilizer metals resulting from overuse of specific types of fertilizers. The farmers that are using chemical fertilizers now are maybe two generations into using chemical fertilizers and before they weren't using it. So they don't have the data that would then inform them on how to use them. And who brings the chemical fertilizers? It's the companies that sell them. So their agenda is to push as much chemical fertilizers for sale. Despite the challenges, chemical fertilizers can boost crop yields when used correctly. Farmers have seen an improvement in their yields after soil testing. <laughs> One of them is John Buru, an avocado farmer. For my first harvest, I managed to get 1,100 kilograms. After conducting soil testing on my farm, my yield increased to 1,800 kilograms. Agricultural experts are calling for the transition from industrial to sustainable farming methods. These include practices like intercropping and crop rotation to facilitate nutrient cycling and boosting microorganisms levels needed for healthy soil. Sustainable agriculture takes time, but you can be able to see the long-term fruits of it. Uh, industrial agriculture is a quick fix, but it leaves you with a dead soil, it leaves you with a dead environment. Experts are calling on governments to enact laws supportive of sustainable agricultural practices and to provide offices to assist in the transition. Wilkes and Yabwa